Hello, everybody. This is Hybrid. This is White Sheep. This is Comic Book Versus number two HD remake, Hyperion versus Superman. Now, yes. originally, this was Supreme versus Superman, but we changed that because if you don't know who Supreme is, <coughs> is what the love child of Doomsday and Superman would be. And that is totally unfair and goes against Comic Book Versus, so delete that. Recommit on that. Yay. Woo! So, um... I like to match it better, anyhow. Yeah, yeah, so I'm taking Hyperion. My sheep has Superman. Just no new to Superman. This is the Marvel Now Hyperion. So, just introduced in the Avengers comics. The current Avengers comic, Volume 4, I think, of it. So, if he doesn't seem that familiar, that is why. All right. I guess I will go, I'll go ahead with Hyperion. His real name is Marcus Milton. His abilities, superhuman strength, speed, durability, reflexes, senses, flight, atomic vision, healing, and intelligence. A fair note, atomic vision. Essentially, it's just like heat vision. Uh, super, he, he has no equipment, by the way. His strength, though, he's so strong, he kept two universes from colliding for a while. Two universes, by the way. And he's durable enough that he was the sole survivor of that impact of those two universes. So keep that in mind. Very strong. He was also strong enough. He punched the Hulk in the face and turned the Hulk back to Bruce Banner. He's able to. He absorbs um, not really solar radiation, but cosmic radiation, and he's able to utilize that to heal himself faster than anyone else normally would. So his durability is maxed out to the max, and his strength is maxed out to the max as well. So he is the Marvel equivalent to Superman, pretty much, and then some. All right, so I guess I will start in with Superman. His real name is Kal-El, or Clark Kent. His abilities are, and this is going to sound really familiar, superhuman strength, speed, durability, reflexes, senses, flight, heat vision, x-ray vision, and intelligence. Now, if you weren't following along with that list, x-ray vision is really the only thing Superman has on Hyperion. Other than that, they're the same person. His equipment, though, is uh, he has Kryptonian ceremonial battle armor. Since this is an E-52 Superman, he isn't just wearing tights. And that sort of, I guess, might give him a little bit of an edge, since that Kryptonian ceremonial battle armor is indestructible. It helps him heal. These guys really are very similar. And while Superman hasn't, I guess, kept two universes from colliding, which I'm, I'm curious, how do you, how, what do you grab on? How, how do you grab onto a universe? You just, you just stick your arms out, and you just keep it there. Josh, right now I'm keeping two universes from colliding. I know. No, but, um... <laughs> No, but it's, it's, it's Superman. While he hasn't fought Doomsday in this new 52 universe, uh, he has taken on some opponents. He is Superman. He is probably as strong as whoever's right again. Uh, we've seen it's Superman. Probably no. <clears throat> as we, he's, he's, uh, he really is as strong as whoever's right again. He'll be, you know, literally unkillable and unmatchable in terms of strength, and then the next day he'll go to being, you know, water pistol. But, uh, it depends on how you feel about Superman. We're at such a loss for this one, because they are literally the same person. I mean, well, okay, not literally. Yeah, well, Figuratively, metaphorically, spiritually, emotionally. Well, yeah, because their origins are similar. You know, Hyperion, He his origin is pretty much Superman's origin. <laughs> Instead of a distant planet, it's an alternate universe. Yeah, and I mean, Superman, you know, obviously he came from, he came from Krypton, uh, son of a dying world given up by his real parents to sort of, I guess, go as a last hope. But, you know, it's it's Superman. Other than his Fortress of Solitude being Brainiac's ship, the character doesn't change that much because you don't change your most iconic superhero. But I guess Hyperion, honestly, I didn't know much about Hyperion, uh, and I didn't nearly know how similar they were. But this matchup is really shown, studying for this matchup has really shown me just how similar these two characters are. See, the thing is, though, Obviously, this fight, it's going to come down to who can hit each other, or who can hit who the hardest, and who can take the hardest punches. And with that being said, you know, Superman, you know, bench pressed the Earth for five days straight. Good for him. But Hyperion can hold two universes from colliding, and then take the resulting force of it and live. So, I think, personally, Hyperion would win this, and if he were to fight Superman, 
he would destroy Superman. Do we know anything about his speed, though? His durability? His resistance? <coughs> Supersonic? I'm guessing, like, they haven't really touched upon his speed, per se, but it's fast enough to, I'd say, match Superman's speed, at the least. And his re- or supposedly he is a hundred times faster than a human, reflex-wise. Mm. So, and his senses are obviously heightened yeah. as well. You know, Superman uses heat vision, Hyperion uses atomic vision. They they really cancel each other out, and it really does come to who's stronger and who's more durable, and that goes to Hyperion, honestly. So I think he would win this. Obviously, though, popularity-wise, Superman would win. Totally. I mean, I agree with you there on the uh, the fact that Hyperion would probably win this battle, despite the fact that that's probably ridiculously... Uh, un- <laughs> it's a very unpopular choice that we've just made. Yeah, it's just... It's such a simple matchup, really. It really is. Like, it's not like the other Very matchups with so many factors. It's pretty much it comes down to yeah, who's faster, who's stronger, who's more durable. Pretty much. It doesn't. It doesn't even help that Superman is written more as a genius in this one. He's already a Boy Scout, but I guess his you know helping the elderly badge isn't going to help him much in this fight. Yeah, like yeah. Hyperion's a genius too. Yep. Like, he did vector physics in vector geometry in a few milliseconds and found crash landing sites from Mars. The dude's smart. Like, both these guys are geniuses. Both these guys are supermen in their own right. It's just, mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. Neither do I. So I guess I'm at a loss. You know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not even a close fight. This is what I should do. And we'll see you guys with the next one. All right. Adios.